Hi, I'm Kohei Tokunaga from NTT. I'm working on container plumbing and the reviewer of ContainerD and the maintainer of StarGD Snapshot, a sub-project of ContainerD. And today I'm gonna talk about speeding up container startup by lazy pulling of container images and the adoption status of lazy pulling in community. Pull is one of the time consuming steps in the container lifecycle for solving this issue, OCI alternative, but, but OCI compatible image formats are proposed in community. Um, because of the compatibility to the current OCI spec, legacy lazy pull agnostic runtimes can run it. And e star is proposed by a uh, container star snapshot as a project. The structure is based on Google CLFS uh, project. Um, and that standard chunk is proposed by uh, Giuseppe Scrivano Red Hat and discussed in uh, mainly Podman community. And the following diagram shows time to take for startup Python 3.9 image from GitHub container registry. This shows e star and dead standard chunk shortens the time to take for pull by lazy pulling. We will discuss about it in more detail in this talk. And recently, uh, tools, tools start to support lazy pulling. Uh, e star is usable with tools in community, including Continuity, Kubernetes, BuildKit, Canico, Go Continuity Registry, and Nardo Cardo. And there is, an, there is also an ongoing discussion of enabling lazy pulling on Podman and Cryo. In 2021, we are working on standardizing lazy pulling to OCI image spec, and we are working on the improvements for stabilizing storage data snapshot. The first of all, pull is one of the time consuming steps in container lifecycle. Research shows that pulling packages account for 76% of container start time, but only 6.4% percent of that data is read. Well-known workarounds are not enough in some situations, uh, even with caching images uh, the first time of container start startup, so-called start, requires pull. And we also sometimes need to deal with big images, including language runtimes, remarks, etc. The root cause of this is the current OCI Docker standard images. Uh, image layers are archived with tar and optionally with compression. So we need to scan the entire blob, even for extracting single file entry. And entries cannot extract it in parallel. With tar layers, we cannot start containers until all layer contents become locally available. For solving this issue, uh, several alternative image formats are discussed in community. Uh, they enable lazy pulling of content images. Lazy pulling here means the runtime doesn't download the entire image on pro operation, but fetches necessary chunks of contents on demand. In other words, container runtime start up a container without waiting for the image contents become locally available. Today, I'm gonna introduce two of them, uh, Easter Jet and the standard chunk. E star is by ContainerD star snapshot sub project. This is compatible to standard gzip layers. And this standard chunk is by uh, Podman community. Uh, this is compatible to standard Z standard layers. So what is E star And E star is a variant of gzip compression uh, proposed by ContainerD star snapshot sub project. And the structure is based on StarGZ by Google CRFS project. But eStarGZ has additional features, including performance optimization and content verification. And GZIP compressed layer is supported by OCI standard and very common in the current ecosystem. Because of the compatibility to GZIP, eStarGZ images can run on eStarGZ agnostic legacy runtimes and e starts to, uh, to be adopted, adopted in community. Uh, e starts can be created with tools like Canico, Nadcardo, and Go Container Registry, etc. And as discussed later, lazy pulling of e starts is available on Continuity, Kubernetes, and BuildKit. And e starts is compatible to 
um, targets it, but it's seekable. So each file payload is compressed separately, and it can be extracted separately. From the perspective of, co perspective of container runtime, uh, each file or chunk can be fetched and extracted from the registry on demand using HTTP range requests supported by most of the registries. And this enables lazy playing backed by standard registries. And metadata of files are stored to a single file entry called TOC. Using TOC, the runtime can mount the layer from the registry to the node, to the node without downloading the entire content. If targeted it can mark important performance sensitive or likely accessed files as prioritized files. This enables the runtime to prefetch them. Please note that eStargeted is not compatible to StarGeted. Um, it, it changed uh, StarGeted footer format to make it compatible to GZIP RFC. And the following figure shows the structure of eStargeted. eStargeted and StarGeted compress each file or chunk separately and store metadata to a single file entry called TOC at the bottom. And TOC contains the offset of each VZIP blob, so each file or chunk can be extracted separately. This greatly fits to HTTP range request supported by standard registries. Runtimes can selectively download, download and extract files in a layer from registries on demand. And eStargeted also enables arbitrary prioritized files to be prefetched uh, by a single range request. This helps the runtime to avoid network-related overheads of on-demand fetching. In the following slides, we will discuss a little bit more detail of performance optimization and content verification of eStargeted. Downloading each file or chunk on-demand costs extra overhead on each file access. Leveraging prioritized files feature of eStargeted the converter tool developed in StarGeted snapshot supports workload-based optimization. In general, container images are built with purpose, and the workload or runtime configuration is specified in Dockerfile using instructions including entry point, env, user, etc. As shown in the following figure, CTR remote Im image converter leverages this information recorded to images and analyzes which file are likely accessed during runtime. This converter runs the provided image in a container and profiles all file accesses. All accessed files are regarded as also likely accessed during runtime. They are recorded as prioritized files in the result is targeted image. Stargate snapshot will prefetch these files when mount this image. And when we use non-lazy standard images, each layer is verified by cal calculating and checking cryptographic hash. So when, uh, and we should have verification feature even for lazy pulling, but we can not apply the current standards method directly to lazy link because each file of a chunk of image is downloaded from registry on demand. So we cannot verify the entire layer content when mounting it. As shown in the following figure, eStargeted supports lazy content verification. Each chunk's digest is recorded to TOC or metadata file of eStargeted. So each chunk uh, can be verified when it's fetched from the registry to the node. TOC itself is verified when mounting that layer using the digest written in the manifest as an OCI annotation. Next, I'm going to introduce the, the discussion status of Z standard chunk. Z standard chunk is a variant of Z standard compression proposed by Giuseppe Scrivano Red Hat. The idea of structure is based on StarGeted, so compression is done per file entry separately. We've already implemented the proof of concept of lazy blink with Z standard chunked. And uh, yes, non chunked, normal Z standard compression starts to be supported by recent runtimes. Um, OCI image spec supports Z standard layer since August 2019, and Contra D, Cryo, and Podman supports Z standard layers. And the structure of uh, GSDD chunked is similar to eStargeted StarGeted except 
um, compression algorithm. Delta standard chunk is seekable. Um, each file payload is compressed separately and extracted separately. Similar to Easter GZ, container runtime can fetch and extract each file from the registry on demand using HTTP range request. This enables lazy pling. Metadata of all files are stored to the manifest. This manifest is not OCI manifest, actually. This is like TOC of Easter GZ or Star GZ. This is for storing, storing uh, file metadata, and the format is same as the OC currently. One of the biggest difference against Easter GZ is that manifest or TOC and footer are not visible to Z standard chunk agnostic runtimes. This is done level. This is done by leveraging skippable frame functionality of Z standard. At this moment, um, prefetch is not supported by the CSTD chunk yet. And verification is also done in the same way as Easter Z. As shown in the following figure, each file's digest is recorded to TOC or metadata file of Z standard chunk. So each file can be verified when it's fetched from the registry to the node. TOC itself is verified when mounting the layer using the digest within the manifest as an OCI annotation. But the annotation key name is different from Easter GZ. So let's see some benchmarking result of Easter GZ and Z standard chunked on container D. Um, this experiment measures container startup time. Um, container startup includes pulling an image from GitHub container registry and creating the container, then running it. Language container runs print hello world program server container runs until the readiness. We measure the time to take for each of pull, create, and run operation with ESRGZ and Z standard chunked. And for GCC 10.2.0 image, uh, legacy is a normal GZIP image. So non ESRGZ and non GSDD chunked. Lazy bling doesn't occur here, so pull takes accordingly. And ESRGZ no opt is ESRGZ but without workload based optimization. This shortens the time to take for pull because it runs container without waiting for the pull completion. But this shows the performance drawback for run operation because each access to file takes extra time for fetching them from the registry. And ESRGZ with optimization mitigates this performance drawback by prefetching prioritized files. Time to create is a little bit longer than non-optimized ESRGZ image. This is because this runtime uh, runs container after all prioritized files are downloaded to the node. GSTD chunked doesn't support workload-based optimization yet. Um, so this shortens the time to take for pull, but this shows performance drawback for run operation, same as non-optimized ESRGZ. And for Tomcat server image, it's similar to GCC, ESRG and Z standard chunk shorten the time to take for pull operation by lazy pling. Optimized ESRG that also mitigates the uh, performance drawback of run operation. Uh, the time to take for create of ESRG is again longer than other types of images uh, because um, it run the runtime runs container after all prioritized files are downloaded to the load. And from this section, I'm gonna introduce support and adoption status of lazy pling in community. First, lazy pling uh, by Easter GZ it can be used on Kubernetes. Currently, Z standard chunk is not supported, but we are working on. Um, Continuity supports lazy pling of Easter GZ, so lazy pling can be enabled by using Continuity as CRI runtime. And again, we are working on enabling lazy pling on Cryo as well. And as shown in the following figure, Starge snapshot the plugin of ContainerD needs to run as a demo on each node. And ContainerD needs to be configured to recognize Starge snapshot through Unix socket. There is a real world use case. Uh, yeah, th there is a real world use case of eStarge on Kubernetes at CERN for speeding up analysis pipeline and 13x faster pool for five gigabyte image is reported. 
In the plugin that enables lazy playing on container D is StarGT snapshot. Currently, eStarGT is supported. This standard chunk support is also on proposal. This is implemented as a remote snapshot plugin of container D. Um, and remote snapshot is a type of plugin that enables container D to use layers by mounting them from remote stores instead of pulling them to the node. StarGT snapshot is the first implementation of remote snapshot. As shown in the following figure, StarGT snapshot mounts layers from the registry as fuse and provides mounted layers to content D. StarGT snapshot downloads accessed file contents on demand. Now the Carter Docker compatible CLI for content D by Akihiro Soda entity supports lazy playing of eStarGT. And BuildKit build build uh, version 0.8.0 starts to experimentally support lazy playing of eStarGT. As shown in the following figure, training build, if a base image is formatted as eStarGT, BuildKit doesn't pull it, and necessary chunks are lazily pulled from registry on demand during executing instructions like copy and run. This can shorten the time of build that requires getting um, base images from registry. For example, when we build images on a temporary and fresh VM instances, in CI, we don't need to download the entire image content. Instead, necessary chunks uh, of the image are downloaded on demand. For more details, please refer to the blog. This reports speeding up building Hello World image from tens of seconds to a few seconds at the best. And we are currently working on enabling lazy playing on Podium and, and Cryo. Uh, the, patch set, the patch set is called Additional Layer Store. Uh, this enables Podium and Cryo to retrieve image layers from Additional Layer Store instead of pulling them from the registry. Yes, and uh, we've implemented the proof of concept of Additional Layer Store um, backed by container registries. Uh, this enables lazy playing of eStarGT and this standard chunked from the standard container registry. We are currently working on discussions about chunk verification, exporting layers from additional layer store and garbage collection. As described in the following figure, additional layer store provides layers mounted on the node to Podman and Cryo, and additional layer store lazily pulls each file accessed by the container from the registry on demand. Runtimes, runtimes can use these mounted layers for root file system instead of pulling them from the registry. So here, let's see the short demo of lazy pulling with Portman, additional layer store, and the standard chunked. Uh, let me switch the screen and yes. Um, right, I believe. Yeah, and, uh, this is a recorded demo of uh, data standard chunk and Podman. And uh, first, we pull and run Hello World uh, container um, using a normal, py normal Python 3.9 image in a very normal way. This pulls the entire image contents, so pull takes accordingly. And let me wait until the pull complete. Um, All right. Yes. And in this case, um, it took about 28 seconds. Next, we clean up the local cache using Podman system prune command. So the, yes, so the um, image we pulled here is being removed from the node. Then we activate additional layer store through a config file. And then we pull, um, then we pull and run the Z standard chunked version of Python 3.99 using additional layer store. In this case, we see a lot of already exist message, message for all layers. And in this case, container startup took only about six seconds. Um, already exists doesn't mean that layers previously pulled are uh, stored in the cache uh, because we cleaned up the local cache before pulling this standard chunked image. 
Uh, this message indicates that Podman mounts these layers from the registry through the additional layer store and lazily pulls these layers instead of pulling the entire content from the registry. So this image is mounted from the registry and contents are lazily, pu lazily pulled from the registry by additional layer store. And this results in faster container startup. All right, switch back to the um, slides. All right. And also in 2021, we are planning a lot of updates. First, we are proposing ESRG that image to OCI image spec. Lazy playing starts to see adoption in the community. So standardizing the image format helps tools in community to handle lazy playing in a consistent manner. ESRG that is backward compatible extension to TARGZ. So this can be standardized without breaking the compatibility to the current OCI image spec. We are also working on enabling lazy playing in more projects, um, including kind and case res. Additionally, we are planning a lot of more features and improvements for stabilizing surgery that snap shoulder. And today I talked about I talked about speeding up container startup by lazy playing of container images and the adoption status of lazy playing in community. Pull is one of the time consuming steps in container lifecycle. For solving this issue, OCI alternative but OCI compatible image formats are proposed in community. Uh, I introduced uh, Easter Jitted and Z standard chunked. And recently, tools start to support lazy bling. Easter Jitted is usable with tools in community, including Contenity, Kubernetes, BuildKit, Kyanko, for Contenity Registry, and Nando Cardinal. And there is an ongoing discussion of enabling lazy bling uh, on Podman and Cryo. And in 2021, we are working on standardizing lazy playing and uh, stabilizing storage snapshot and lazy playing. And the contribution and suggestions are always welcome. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you for the great talk, Kohei. Um, there are a few questions in chat. I can read them out to you. The first one is, does this work in rootless mode? Um, currently not. Uh, yeah, currently not, but uh, hmm. Because um, it starts with snapshot a demo or additional layer store will require a root and, uh, and uh, mm, I don't working on um, anything about uh, making um, accessing to yeah uh, mounted layers uh, from non root users so uh, currently not but of course um, yeah I will uh, I, yeah I really want to work on in the future okay thanks. The next one is, what is the advantage of ZSTD chunked over A star GZ or the other way around? Um, I think data standard chunked, uh, the advantage is uh, fast, deco fast decompression uh, thanks to uh, that standard. And is the, the advantage of E star GZ is um, backward compatibility. Um, of course, data standard, that standard layer is uh, currently OCI supported by OCI image spec, but uh, legacy runtime stars don't support uh, that standard, but ESTAR GZ can run on uh, even on very, very legacy runtimes because it is fully compatible to GZIP. Okay, uh, this one is about the demo you showed. Is it possible that we're not seeing the console of what you're talking at the end of the demo? Um, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, uh, maybe in the um, yeah, after this talk, all right. Okay, uh, the next one is as of 0 0.4 release, we don't need fuse for optimization, right? Yes, yes, uh, we are using, um, we are currently using uh, FA notify instead of fuse for, so uh, yeah, fuse doesn't, yeah, fuse um, is not needed for optimization currently. And the next one is any plans to not pay the performance cost of fuse when the files are already downloaded? Um, yeah, very in, yeah, very good question. I think um, yeah, I really want to work on this um, this improvement and uh, yeah, uh, definitely I really want to work on uh, in the future. And uh, if you have a good idea, um, we are very welcome. Uh, fourth contribution. 
right, uh, there are no more questions and we are out of time as well. Thank you so much, Kohei, for the great talk. Uh, we'll see everyone else in the next session. Thanks a lot. Bye.